Now that we've moved the files that we need for our gallery into our website, let's make sure that we refresh the files in our local files in Dreamweaver just to make sure that they show. We should now see the gallery folder and the CSS folder and the JavaScript folder, and um, we're ready to go on. So I'm going to go back to Blackboard and find the code that I need to copy and paste. So the code that we're going to be adding right here says add the following lines to the head section of your photos page. So I'm going to select that text and go to my photos page and open up photos.htm. Now we need to go to this, the code view in order to go up to the top and find the beginning of the head section. Right after that tag I'm going to do a couple returns or even a few so that I have a little space there and I'm going to paste that text in. That text is going to link to the JavaScript files, which are inside this JS folder. So you're seeing that it links to three different JavaScript files. And then it's also going to create a link to the CSS file, which is in that CSS folder. This way, I have the um, needed elements to make my gallery work. Now I can go back to Design View. And you'll see that these um, files now appear in the top when you have the photos page open because these are li the linked files. If I were to go to one of the files you'll see that it's pretty crazy code that's inside some of these files. So good thing we don't have to do anything inside those files at all. We're only going to be working with the HTML um, settings or the HTML code. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is copying in the code that we need to make one of our um, thumbnail galleries work. So let's select all of that text and let me quickly describe what's going on. The very first thing is an anchor tag, href, that um, is linking to the large image that you have. So you need to replace this with your image name. The next part is rel equals lightbox. And this says let's use lightbox as our um, gallery engine. And the gallery is just a name that's given so that each um, image that's given the same exact name will appear as one continuous image gallery. The next thing is title. Titles need to be changed in order to show that text on the gallery when it's a large image. The next image that we have here, image source gallery, is actually the the thumbnail image that's being used as the link. So we have the thumbnail image there, we have its width and height, and then we have an alt tag that should be there as well. And that's good for search engine optimization. Anyway, I'm going to copy that paste, um, copy that code, go back to Dreamweaver, and I'm going to go right underneath the title in my content and make a return. This way, I can put my gallery at the very top. So now I can go to Code View. And you'll see in code view, there is the paragraph that we just created. So I'm going to replace that non-breaking space with this copied and pasted code. So I might even do a couple returns just so I can isolate this code and make it really easy to see. And now we need to replace some items. So if I go to my design view, you'll notice that I have an image in my design view and I can click on that image you'll see that image is now selected. If you look at the source here, you'll notice that there are two things. There's source and link. And the nice thing about Dreamweaver is it allows us to use the pick whip to replace both of these at once. So here are my two images. I have my 500 and my 100 in that order. So I will click and drag to my 100 um, pixel image and then click and drag to the 500 pixel image. And now I have those two images. Now, for each of the other items, we'll do exactly the same thing. We do need to go into the code itself in order to change the, um, the description of it. Because this, let's see, the first one that I have here is Bridal Falls. So I might want to change the title, of course, to Bridal Falls. Although it is Bridal Veil Falls, I believe. And of course, the exact same thing would go in the next one. Now we're going to have to finish this video and go on with the next video in order to demonstrate this particular um, gallery. But we would just be replacing, um, copying and pasting this code right afterwards um, and replacing all the needed elements for all the remaining images of our gallery.